forward to watch is going to be how to achieve this look. Stay tuned. to state that these upcoming videos these are all for brides proms parties anything in this spring season that you want to be simple yet classy and elegant and uh, and of course timeless and I also try to make sure that it was budget friendly there may be a few high price items I know that my primer was a Mac primer but I believe everything else was either BH or coastal sense or drugstore so everything is within your reach for you to run out and get or for you to order within a few days at a very very nice price and if not you can always find uh, similar eyeshadows at your drugstore so check out all your wet and wilds and your NYX palettes uh, at your you know local beauty supply stores so want to let you all know that so stay tuned hey so if you've watched the eye part, the part one, which is brows and eyes, um, welcome to part two. And I don't drop mascara on my chest. Um, so now we'll be doing the foundation part and prepping your skin and trying to make sure that it lasts throughout your whole ceremony. Um, because it is becoming summertime and things of that nature, we're gonna make sure that it sticks through the sweat and through the oiliness because that's what happens when you're outside because a lot of times people have outside weddings so you need a good primer for your face and i'm going to use max prep and prime uh, beauty radiance natural radiance and it has a yellow base to it two pumps be careful around what you've done already It doesn't matter which primer you use, one that works for you. I do that because I have very deep smile lines and I want to make sure my primer gets in there. And because I have oily, I put my primer on first because that's just the way that I like to do it. And then I'm going to use this and a beauty sponge one of these and, and if you're dry you can skip this part just do the first step which was priming my whole t-zone area because this is where I get oily and my makeup starts to fade and make sure you use waterproof mascara forgot to say that in the first one if you really don't want to um, fade out you might want to do that so need to let that dry And while I'm letting this dry, I want to explain to you all about the tools that I used in the first one. There are two brushes that I really want you all to take a look at. For eyeliner, for brows or under the eye, anything you need very detailed. These are paint brushes. They are from Michaels or Joann's and they come in a pack that looks like this. Tempera brush set is 10 pieces and it comes with all of these detailing brushes. It's for paint, which means it's good for your makeup because it'll easily um, wash. Like your brushes won't get uh, too um, toe up. And I also bought the Golden Talcon uh, value pack. It has three or four in here. Three piece brush. Um, foundation concealer and there's one that's a little bit smaller than this and I use that for concealer as well so I'm going to show you how 
I'm gonna use this one for my foundation today and then buff it out with a fluffier brush. The reason I'm showing you ladies this is because if you don't have good brushes and you need something that's gonna work well, run out to your craft store. This was $3.99 and $4.99 for a pack. So all of those brushes and you can use them for eyes and face. But when I get to that, I'll show, I'll show you which one is which. So as you can see, my face has um, dried up looking crusty and whatnot. Let me move this stuff out the way so I don't try. For me, as a bride, I want to glow. Um, even though I have semi-oily skin, I like to glow. And some women like to have a matte finish. So, with that being said, before you get married, and the, at least a week before you need to go, actually I say a month, go try out a couple of foundations so you can see how you like the finish and then you can see the wear so you find the one that you like the way it looks on you and the way that it wears on you meaning that it won't oxidize after a while and uh turn orange or turn green because i've had some foundations like i used to use, i had the lancome foundation 450 and suede it looked beautiful when the first one on and when it oxidized i turned green so i had to take it back um, and I, of course, I had MAC foundations and they tend to oxidize orange on me. And I love my drugstore foundations for my face. So I'm going to use my, um, cause you want something that has a, a little bit of coverage too. I'm going to use my, actually I'm not gonna use that one. I picked up the wrong one. I'm going to use my Dream Liquid Mousse in Dark 2 Caramel. Pump it. about four pumps, cause it's little squirts. Take this, I'll conceal after. Now ladies, you have to make sure you get under here and go down your neck zone because it'll be very visible when you're wearing your dress. Okay. So now you can either use a sponge to make sure that you get everything in there and actually that's what I'm going to do because that's going to give us a better finish in my opinion. Moisten your sponge. And, and go into pat motion. Okay, and now that I have my foundation applied, all I need to do is go back and cover any blemishes and highlight or contour if necessary. For me, I will highlight here and a little bit in this area. I don't really contour my face because I like the structure of my face, but I love to have that sun bouncing off my face type of look. So give me a second and that is 
that's how you prepare and get your foundation set. I will come back for you in a second and show you how I conceal and highlight. <laughs> 